we, we don't understand uh, uh, the causes of autism, but we know in general that genetic factors are important, and that's put us on the search for particular genes that play a role. Our search for looking for genes, or proteins in fruit fly, that may have relevance to autism, as Joe mentioned brought us to one gene that we identified. We named it Drosophila neuraxin, or fruit fly neuraxin. Presence of this gene in flies gave us a clue that if we can delete the function of this gene in fruit fly, we will know what this protein does in the nervous system of the fly. And that will bring us closer to what this protein might be actually doing in the human nervous system. So fruit flies are relevant to understanding the human biology. One of the uh, rare uh, cases that we identified uh, was involving the norexin gene. And several other reports have now accompanying this initial uh, report, uh, suggesting that um, norexin, uh, while uh, a cause in rare cases, is nevertheless an important gene uh, in, uh, in causing autism, or at least there's very good support for that. Uh, and so that leads us to studying norexin in other models, in animal models, in models like the fruit fly uh, and Dr. Bott's work. Once we identified the mutations in the uh, fruit fly gene, we learned that this gene and its gene product, which is the protein, is actually localized at the nervous system synapses and it disrupts the function and structure of the nervous system. So from that point, we got clues that this protein in humans might be doing same things at the human nervous system synapses. That is relevant because they are the same genes. We now understand the importance of this particular part of the nervous system, the synapse, uh, and its potential role in autism and other neurodevelopmental disorders. We have converging evidence from a number of conditions that point us to that structure, and we have converging evidence from other genes that have been implicated in autism that that's important. And so this all leads us back to studying the norexin gene in the fruit fly to inform us about how it affects the synapse and tell us what we should be understanding, what we should be thinking about in terms of autism. That leads us to thinking about um, uh, interventions, uh, how we would design interventions, uh, perhaps medications, that might specifically address that genetic problem at the synapse to treat autism. So it's a tremendous clue, although it's a rare, uh, likely to be a rare cause of autism, the, the norexin abnormality, uh, this work together with our um, collaborators, our researchers in the, in the lab studying the fruit fly is tremendously important uh, to the future of our understanding of autism.